Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. We're going to do another episode of, you know, grading and listing on eBay type of thing. Um, I've got four books here we can go over real quick and I'll do a grade and tell you what they're kind of going for and uh, we'll go from there. So I, if you guys like comics, you know that this is the first appearance of Spider-Woman and the origin story of, of course, Spider-Woman. So, Marvel Spotlight number 32, uh, newsstand edition, and let's go ahead and look at it. So, there's a slight crease, just, you know, breaks color or whatever. Um, just minor little, little things, a little bit of here, a corner, ding, ding. Ding, ding. I mean, it's an old book. <clears throat> Little staple issue. Um, not, a, not an issue, but, you know, because of the staple, it's a... Uh, you know, a little slight wear there. Little corner issue there. But the book itself looks really clean. Let's check the back of it. More a little, just kind of the same thing from the wear. There's a little bit of a nick tear there. Little imperfections, nothing too bad. You guys can see them with the light. Overall though, the book's decent. It's an off white to white. Interior's decent. All the pages, it's complete. It's where the staples are. The staples are clean. Everything looks good. Um, <clears throat> if I was going to give this a grade, it'd be in the fine area. So, to be safe, I'm going to say fine. These books are all over the place on eBay. Um, I'm gonna price it at 50 bucks, buy it now, best offer. Someone will probably just buy it. Um, if they're making me an offer, that's fine too. Let's move on to the next one. So here's uh, Batman number 429. It's the conclusion of the death in the family. Robin died the issue before. Um, what I find interesting about this book, of course it's a Joker cover, is it's a uh, newsstand edition. I was looking on eBay and they're kind of hard to find. Most of it's all blacked out, so I, I guess I got lucky in getting this one. Um, everything seems pretty good. And again, I'm looking at this 4K camera <laughs> and uh, with the light on it, so you guys can see like everything. There's a ding, little ding. These black covers are tough. There's a crease that kind of goes down the page. I don't know if it can be pressed out or not, but it is what it is. Um, it's definitely a type of crease. Let's look at the other side. Some slight spine roll, a little bit of a, some issue. Not too bad. I think it's just part of the See, because that goes all the way through. I think it's just part of how it came. Back looks pretty good. Nothing major. Let's go ahead and look at the interior. That's white pages, for sure. The, the art's clean. Let's go ahead and find the staples. That's definitely white pages. The staples are good. Overall, the book's pretty good. So, on eBay, these books are selling maybe 10, 15 bucks. I'm, I'm gonna give this book a find of VF, which is like a 7.0, just because of the little bit of uh, dings, but not much, but this kind of crease down the, down the book. It's not, I mean, when you're, Looking at it, it's not that bad. It's just, it is what it is. 
Um, but because it's a newsstand edition and the rarity of it, I'm going to price it at 20 bucks. So that's how I would do this book, buy it now our best offer. We got two more. I already have a graded one of these, so I'm willing to let this one go. Uh, it's an Old Man Logan, number 25 Grummet variant. Is it Gummit or it's Grummet? Uh, black and white. Um, I'm not sure if it's a 1 in 25. I know the regular ones are 1 in 10, so I'm guessing that this is a 1 in 25. But it's it's the old 181 homage cover. It's pretty cool. Um, this book is gorgeous. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go down. Everything is clean. Perfecto. Let's check the back. That's not a tear, it's just printer ink or something. <laughs> this book is pretty good. I'm pretty sure if you sent this to CGC, you would get a 9.8. Uh, it's it's pretty much perfect. If there, you know, you could always get it pressed to guarantee it. But the book is perfect. Let's go ahead and look inside. Of course, the colors are beautiful. It's bright. I mean, it hasn't even been read. I'm like the first one to read it. <laughs> so, uh... Let's take a look. The arc is great. Everything is beautiful. I'm trying to find that staple. There they are. Staples are perfect. The book is perfect. Uh, you know, I think it's a 9.6 to 9.8. I'm saying it's a near mint to mint 9.8, but I'm going to go ahead and list it as a 9.6 to 9.8, which is near mint plus to near mint plus slash mint. Um, perfect book. There aren't a lot of these on eBay. I'm going to go ahead and list it at 50 bucks. I think it's well worth it. We got one more. Here's a great uh, variant cover. I kind of don't want to sell it, but because I only have this one. But uh, it's Uncanny X-Men number one from 2017. It's the annual, but it's the variant. A lot of people don't know they even had these because they're kind of rare. Um, so... It's clean, it's beautiful. So far, so good. And we have a little bit of a... A little bit of here, just a little... Uh, that can be pressed out easily. But it is what it is. Everything looks good on this book. Pretty sure this book would be grade pretty high. I'm trying to find any issues with it. Um, yeah, there. It's so hard to see because it's white. But if I put the light just on it, yeah, I can't even see it. It's just these little two. Let's check the interior. Perfect. As usual for these newer books, it's only a year old. See if we can get to the staples. Oh, man, that's cool. Really cool uh, original art to have. Hmm. Must have passed over the staple. Oh no, that was the page. So they're fine. Staples are intact. Uh, I don't see anything really wrong with this book. I mean, with the press, if we're looking at nine six nine eight, I'm gonna go ahead and be safe and just call it a uh, near mint, which is a nine four. So I'm gonna ask twenty bucks for it. Kind of hard to find. Uh, variant so yeah if you guys are interested in even looking at them on eBay you can check out my eBay 
so, uh, through my seller ID. It's Black Zeno. I'll put it in the in here. It's right here, and uh, that's it. So here's another uh, grading with uh, economics and comics, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye.